welcome back to our channel. So it has I'm, been a while. Yeah, well, no, it hasn't. It has. No. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had good lighting though. Since we've been living in back in England for like how long has it been? Five weeks? Something uh, like that. Yeah, I think it's been about five weeks. Um, we wanted to do a little culture talk video for you. So, Ricardo, have you been missing Italy? <sighs> I don't know, I would say yes and no, no but yes, more like no. but more like no. <laughs> more no. Like double, <laughs> double no and one yes. Okay. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain. Double year and mine's yes, I do miss Italy. Because it's where I got used to for three years. So coming back here it's different. Because when you like not, I don't want to say grow up, but when you stay somewhere and like change and adapt to a place, you get used to that place. And then when you have to go back somewhere else, then it's strange. Speaking of Italy, we have been in contact, well they got in touch with us, um, like a company called Holzkern, a company from Austria, and they make watches and bracelets and they're all naturally sourced. They are so, absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's so. You gotta go so on pretty. the website and look at them because, seriously, I've seen some watches. I was like, wow, and they're not even that expensive to be honest. And I'm pretty sure I would. I want to buy a couple of them. Can you buy me one for Christmas? <sighs> First off, when you open your box that comes packaged, and you get a postcard. Oh, so, a wooden postcard. Yeah, it's a wooden postcard. <laughs> so that's so nice. And then we get this. Box, so it's so pretty. It's made of wood, and you open it up. It's all magnetized, and there's a little like written thing in there, which I don't understand what it says. Um, and then here's your watch. So this is our watch. It's based on Capri. So the description of the watch is actually really good. So I'm gonna link this watch in the description box below. So they've got these watches with themes almost all of them actually they look really amazing like that they, they actually if you look at the watch you're like oh yeah it does remind me of that holtz can donate one euro from every watch bought to restoration products in Na Na nicaragua nicaragua <laughs> Within this two weeks of this video being shown, and um, you can get five percent discount on their shop. And the code, obviously, it's Italish five. Five. So Cinque. just yeah, <laughs> Cinque. <laughs> so just put that code in there, and you get your discount. Oh, you sold it. <laughs> I did. So let's get into our Italian-inspired video about our culture shock after living here for five years. Five Five years? <laughs> five, five weeks. <laughs> I was going to say five months. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, guys, we come from the future <laughs> and we're making this video back in five years ago. <laughs> this is all fresh in our mind at the moment. So what are the things that you've had to get used to, Ricardo, since living back here? Okay, there are some things that I didn't think I would actually miss from Italy, but I'm actually missing them. And uh, one of those things, and I didn't realize how, I, I actually took it for granted when I was in Rome, is the pizza al taglio. Like, whenever I wanted to, even when I, while I was going to work, I would just stop by and just get a piece of pizza and just eat it casually. Seriously, yeah. I would always do it, almost every single day. And I was oh, just yeah, like, hey, can I get a two euros pizza? Yeah, great, done. And I was yeah. walking and eating. It's yeah, such an easy and filling lunch as well. Yeah, like, it's really filling. Snack. It's only two pounds as well. Come on. I wouldn't do that. I mean, they do that here at Greg's. You can go into Greg's and buy a bit of pizza, but I wouldn't yeah, do that. I wouldn't, yeah. It doesn't look very nice. It's not the same. No. So another thing that we've both had to kind of get used to is not walking into the road. So, you know, when in Rome, I don't know if it's like this in other places in Italy, but when you walk, into the road, the car stops for you. <laughs> but if you do that here, the car will just run you over. <laughs> well, the, okay, the thing is, in Rome, they don't really stop for you, you just need to run through them and try to make it on the other side. Some people will be like, oh, let me break, and they stop. Yeah. But they don't normally like stop for people. Well, like if you stand on their side, they wouldn't just be like, okay. Well, they do stop though, but it depends on the person. That's what it is, it depends on the person. Like, some people I've been in the car with swerve around the person, and it's like, okay, all right, then just don't stop for them. Just 
10 points if you hit them. <laughs> so, well, we'll but see. no, no, but here you can't walk, you can't run into the road, and you can't even stand in the middle of the road okay. because that's not what you do. No, the, the thing here is that people actually get mad at you if yeah, you exactly. are on the road and there is not a zebra crossing. Like, they'll be like, what are you doing? Look, I do that too. I'm like, what? Okay, fine, just cross in front of me. That's that's cool. There's, just do that. Just stand in the middle of the road. <laughs> but the good thing on the other side is that if you're on a zebra crossing, as soon as you are on a side, on a path, of the zebra crossing, the cars stop everywhere. Yeah. Don't, no matter what, they stop. That's like the other day, someone didn't see me and it kept going, and he was like, I'm so sorry, yeah, I'm so sorry. Did. I was like, All right, you're all right, mate. That's okay, I, I can come after. <laughs> and everybody's like, Sorry. Yeah. It was like, oh, Really bad. Oh, don't worry, it's not a big deal. So, since being in Italy, I got used to the one tap for the hot and the cold water. I mean, a lot of houses. Quite normal. Yeah, well, no, a lot of houses in England do have that too. But it does depend on like the um, how old the building is and how old it's been like decorated. So that the place where we live, it's quite old. So we had the two taps. And the thing that I find really annoying about the two taps, though, is that um, they're so close to the edge of the sink. So if you want to like wash your hands, you're basically like rubbing your hands against the sink, like the edge of it. Or when we're trying to rinse things off after washing them, yeah, you've got to like. Awesome. Get, some kind of awkward direction. One thing that I thought would be actually super good and I was excited about it, it was the fact that in all of the English houses they have the wooden floor, even where you get the carpet, underneath it there is the wooden floor, right? But if it's old enough, sometimes when you walk on one bit, like something moves like 10 meters away and moves up because of the wooden floor and because it's old. And so I, I thought it would be super cool. I was like, oh yeah, I've got carpet, but it's kind of old and I'm walking on it. And it's like moving down there. I was like, oh, was that me? Oh, I get what you're saying. It like creaks. It, yeah, it creaks it and move. stuff. I'm expecting you to go sliding on the carpet like across the wooden floor. <laughs> I was thinking, our house doesn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get what you mean. Like it creaks because there's the wood underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. It does. If we are on the on the side, um, where the where, where the I don't know what you're trying to say. Where the where the door no. is, right? Where we got the door in our room. Yeah. If you walk on that wood there. Yes, it creaks. If you walk too far, too hard, even the too hard. Uh, Tiptoe, please. Tiptoe. If you stamp on it too hard. <laughs> Even the wardrobe moves. Like vibrations. Mm. But it's not really a vibration, it's just a wooden thing that moves. Anyway, well. so it's weird having a wooden underneath the uh, carpet. And I'm not used to it. But I do love walking on carpet with bare feet. Okay, so mean? Ricardo put down no use of, like, for buses. So, like, but I'm confused. We only don't need to use buses because we have a car but he's just explained to me that it's because in Rome if you want to go to the bank you have to like travel far because you can't just choose any random bank to go into you have to go to the one that you signed up with so like for example my bank when we were in, um, in Italy my bank was probably about an hour away by like public transport mm -hmm. and maybe that would have been like half an hour by car um, but here you can just go to like any bank or what was the other thing that you used? But the, the thing is that every neighborhood, if we want to call it neighborhood, has everything in there. So you don't have to travel all the way to the center of the city to get what you need. For example, we've got four banks around here. So even if, you, if I wanted to go to my own bank, the one I, I signed up on, I, I can go it. I can, it's just around the corner. I don't have to go in the north end, another, um, in another neighborhood, I, I, I mean, literally, I don't have to go far away to get my things. If I'm looking for food and looking to specific shops, I've got them here. The last thing we want to talk to you about is cheap food. So the reason why it's cheap here is because uh, ah, new uh, language. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the reason why it's so cheap over here is because we get deals, we get so many deals. So yesterday we bought some chocolate and it's like 
did um, we? We did. For, you know, in the packet, celebrations and heroes. Oh. And it's two for five. So basically, you buy two of them for five pounds, or if you just bought one of them, it'd be three pounds fifty. So, what's cheaper? Obviously, you're saving two pound there. And there's so many deals. There's like ten for one pound, and the little sweets that is. Um, and there's just so many. So you just save a lot of money. So we're trying to cut like our prices down that we spend on food every week. So what we've done so far is. 30 pounds and that's last us a week and a half on 30 pounds that would not happen in italy no we no. would always spend 44 euros and more yeah for like a probably just, just over a week, week. not but, even yeah but we'd probably just be a week and then we just didn't have any time to go shopping so we just had to survive on what we had or we'd buy a pizza because it was only five euros for a pizza yeah Whereas That's here true. we just don't really eat out because it's a lot more expensive. Yeah, you need to spend definitely ten pounds at least per person. Per person so. Yeah. Unless you get fish and chips, and then that's very cheap. Or so. how we did last night, like I got a kebab and two bags of chips, and spent I just ten had pounds. Chips. Yeah, because you just get chips. So yeah, okay. Takeaway is more expensive, but shopping in supermarkets is cheaper. Mm -hmm. So. What one's better, really? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I do miss the five pound, five euro pizzas, though. Like, really wish we had something like that here, but that will not happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, before we end, we just want to say that we are going to start new videos on uh, where to eat properly, and we're going to give um, uh, ratings on certain restaurants and see which one cooks better Italian or which one is absolutely. You need to avoid it. Just like reviewing, yeah. because down down here near us, there are so many different restaurants so many. from different countries. We've got like Brazilian, Argentinian, Thai, uh, Thai yeah, tapas. It's just so many. So we thought it'd be cool to start videos. Yep, and also try the Italian restaurants because yes. so many claims to be Italian. And I'm working as a deliverer right now. And I've delivered from certain restaurants and I've seen how they make the pizza and I was like, ooh, I wouldn't even get near it. <laughs> so. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Share it with your friends. Leave us a comment and, and let us know what you think. <laughs> but Cora wants to say something and else. So, what do you want to say? And check out Instagram and our Facebook. We'll so, see you guys in the next bye. video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.